guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Uh, today is a Cinema 4D tutorial on how to kind of create some fly-in text. Now I've put up to a video I released the other day, uh, the, the uh, Copyright Cinema intro. Uh, you see as it's coming up now, uh, these, the, the actual text Copyright Cinema starts to fly in and it's all random. And uh, if you go down to the comments, say, you know, a lot of thumbs up saying, yeah, I'm going to make a tutorial on that, 37 thumbs up. Uh, so we're uh, going to stay on word and here is the tutorial. And uh, I tell you what, we'll even give you a little design view in Cinema 4D here for you. There you go. So I'm just going to go to File and New. And uh, there we go. I'm just going to go to MoGraph and Text Object. I'm just going to make our text. I'm going to type in Chrome. Actually, I'm going to make it all capitals because I'm going to be using the font Agency FB. And in my opinion, that only looks good in capitals. So now if we rotate a bit more get a good angle of kind of what we'll be, we'll be going for. Rotate a bit more down, there we go. And I'm just going to put up the depth to around 100. Add a bit of caps, you know, just around on the edges. Creating a bit more that, that smooth text that we would like to see. And uh, there we go. And I've got a basic text. You do not want to add materials on yet, as they will just get, they'll get wiped off uh, in a second in the future stage. Uh, but now we've got the text, you want to make the text editable, you have the text selected and you can either go over here and hit this little kind of orange sphere to a partially coloured orange sphere or you can just press C on your keyboard, whatever floats your boat. Now this will kind of make your text editable and you just hit the down arrow and down arrow and down arrow and you'll see that there is your text in like extrude nerves and the spillines. So you want to drag these out of the text object, the little null objects rather, and just delete that so you've just got the text. Now you want to do is you want to highlight all of the text by holding, clicking at the bottom, hold shift and go to the C. And you just want to go to MoGraph. Just want to add any MoGraph thing. I'm going to add a fracture object. There we go. And highlight it all again and make it as a child of the fracture object. So until the little arrow is going down. There we go. And it will darken for now, but that does not matter. And you know, it's nothing will really happen apart from the color change. Uh, so you want to have fracture object selected and just go to MoGraph and random effector like so and you see this already started to create a random effect so what we're going to do is you see how it's kind of merged in here and it's too close and there's no rotation to it uh, we're just going to go down to the kind of transform meter tab down here and you see the position is ticked by enabled uh, you can enable whatever one you want if you want them to kind of come in uh, all from a sh from like straight from a different angles as opposed to it coming in rotating uh, don't enable the rotation tag but I like to um, enable this as a, I don't know, personal preference. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold shift and basically just select all of these different ones. All of these properties or rotations, position, you can even have the scale if you like. Again, the same will, will apply to what I'm, what I'm coming up to doing. And just want to re really, really mess up these numbers. I like to go for kind of a big number so all, all, all of the, um, all of the uh, characters are off the screen like so. And then you see that's up and down, so that doesn't really matter. Um, at Z, I like to kind of increase the Z. Wait. Yeah, like that. And then rotation. Now, rotation, it doesn't really matter because it won't really be a major aspect. But, you know, the angle will be. And uh, so then hit control when you kind of got your parameters right. Hit control on the little one of the circles. And because you've got all of them selected, it will apply a little keyframe to all of them. Uh, move on to when you want this to kind of be in, in alignment and be like the text you want it to normally see. And I'm going to go to 20 frames here, for example. And I'm going to go type in 0 to everything. So tabs, 0, tab, 0, tab, that kind of thing. 0, tab, 0, tab, 0, tab. And then just hit control and go on any one of them again. And that will make a keyframe. So now if we go back to the beginning and play, look, the text flies in. I mean, that maybe be a bit fast, you know. But that's because of the because of the way, what frame we're at. Now, because we're on 30 frames per second, if you think about it logically, uh, 30 frames will be a second. So this is under a second. So if you want it to be two seconds, go to 60 frames. If you want it to be one second, go to 30 frames. But then if you, that's why when you make the frames uh, increase to 60 frames per second, the animation will be twice as fast. I hope you understand that, just a quick side note there. So now if we just go ahead and play, this should be two seconds work. There we go. Now, it might be a bit laggy because of the processor. And, uh, but there we go. That's how to create some flying letters. Thanks for watching this video. 
Um, please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I've been Connor with Chrome Designs. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.